Okay, so uh, thank you so uh, much. <laughs> I'm so happy that you liked my episode. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> thanks for leaving that voice message, Mr. Tony Danza. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But uh, I'm glad you endorsed me. I do hear Godzilla when I listen to that. I've been listening to it over and over again. And Godzilla actually keeps coming up. I can really hear it. So, wow. Sorry it took me so long to get back. But, yeah. uh, Thank you for listening to my show. And, yeah. Stay awesome. Yeah, stay awesome, man. Good day to you. We are a little late on rent today. Fourteen days late to be precise. So I'm very fortunate the owner, the tycoon of this place who lives in a mansion on a mountain. I'm very, very fortunate that they don't kick me out. I'm going to uh, get that money today. It's waiting on a couple of checks from the Otley Crew shows. And those have not come through yet. Ryan was very, very, very gracious in lending me the very last 200 I needed to get the job done. I'm so blessed to have friends like this in my life who are concerned about my uh, home, homeness and homelessness. got to be honest, this has happened a lot throughout my life where friends and or family have swooped in to help me in those times of in those times of need and sometimes times of desperation. What's interesting is every single time that I've ever gotten to a point where it seemed like I was just on the edge. Uh, Something the universe would present me with an opportunity to, and or opportunities, to save me from what seemed like a certain, certain unfortunate end. And... As I count up the examples in my brain, and I have that reservoir of information, I can refer back to that in times where it seems dire, where it seems like, "Uh uh-oh, what's going to happen here? So it's always important to be able to have those examples in your brain where it worked out because then what it does is it enables you to not worry it enables you to really trust that the universe has your best interests at heart and and will um, I'm looking at something here Something going on here. Valley, first annual, 818. Where's this happening? 818 party. Interesting. 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 Huh. That's going to happen on 818. Well, as some of you know, the Wizard Walk is happening on 818, which I'll be doing. I'll be covering that. I'll be podcasting there been inviting a lot of people on Instagram to come out for that. Go out for a wizard walk with me, the Wizard of L.A., most likely Lumi, the all-seeing eye, and of course, Reverend Mark. 
with his Native American ceremonial flute and drums. I'll be bringing a backpack. I'll put some masks in there in case anyone uh, is out there and they want to join us. I noticed that if you, you put on a mask, things you can uh, things can just flow easier, faster, funner, joyfuller. Because <laughs> you're not... You know, it's a secret identity. It's an alias. You, you're not held to uh, what maybe your normal standards of living are, or limitations for that matter. So then you start finding yourself singing and or dancing in front of a bunch of strangers and or playing a Native American ceremonial drum, for instance. Uh, I was thinking the other day about the idea of when folks say, oh, it went wrong, or oh, the problem is, see there, oh gosh, things are just not going right. And I realized what that is, is that ultimately what the person is saying is that I want harmony, I want agreements. I want win-win. I want yes. So, this is just a theory, but perhaps <clears throat> those of us who are experiencing a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of, like, why is this all kinked up over here? Why can't I get through this or do that? Or, ah, why is this barrier here, this challenge, this obstacle? <clears throat> My theory is, what if we start saying yes to more ideas. Maybe, maybe the, the limitations, maybe the obstacles, the, the issues there are a direct symbolic representation of how we personally go about attaining harmony. So, what can we do to attain better harmony? What do I do to attain better harmony? Harmony to me means the melodies are flowing along well, the orchestra, every little piccolo, every timpani drum, every saxophone, etc., etc., is tuned in, they're all in the same channel, and working together to make things move along joyously and like, ooh, that sounds good together. That cooperation, it's that cooperation aspect. So, I try to say yes to a lot of ideas whenever I can. Things that the idea, the ideas that highly uh, resonate with my joys and passions, and things that bring out the best in me. I'll get back to this in a second. I'm going into the bank. Um, oh, oh, wait. So it looks like the bank is not yet open. Um, so it's 9:53. I think. Oh, okay. All right. These guys are closed. I think they're opening up at 10. So that's what I've realized, is that a lot of times when we come across this idea of things are not working, things are difficult, things is just... Bah, we're just frustrated because there's no harmony there. There's no agreements being made. There's no win-win situation. Um, there's, no, there's no easy flow. You know, we want, we want that easy flow. And we, we, we want that. We don't want the resistance. That's, that's the, uh, so we're getting mucked up in there is, is the resistance aspect. The resistance, resistance, 
force it and it will break, as my dad once told me. And that has become an, al an analogy throughout my life ever since. Force it and it will break. So in those moments where it seems like there's a challenge, there's uh, a barrier there, I like to take a few moments and go, okay, is this really a barrier? What's the worst possible outcome of this thing? What's the worst possible outcome? And then I I would like to take myself to that worst possible outcome. In my brain, just imagine what 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 is that like? Okay, let's pretend we're right there. Bam. Here's the worst possible outcome. How do I choose to react to that? So I give myself a glimpse, so to speak, into that parallel reality where I then can... I'm, I'm brought face to face with it. And I get to choose how I'm really going to react to it. I'm going to choose how I react to it. And, <clears throat> and if that choice is beneficial to me, if if the if uh, if my definition of that choice is either something that represents uh, the power within me, the great power that I have within me, or if it represents something that is down uh, downtrodden or desperate or an unfortunate ending. I get to define that, how I react to that. And what also happens in those moments as it gets to that, as I, as I put myself right there, right in front of it, I then realize that if, I, if, I, if I'm to play along with that idea that my higher mind is doing everything in its power to reflect my highest joys and passions and the best version of myself. If I am to play with that idea, then in those moments when I'm, when I'm confronted with, uh, 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 you know, the end, so to speak, of those, of those, of those mucked up situations, it, okay, so what I do then is I'm able to look at that and go, all right, this is here for me to learn from. This is here for me to to grow from. Uh, what 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 uh, what do I do now? Do I accept this? Do I accept accept this thing? And I go, all right. I see it's happening. It's not ideal. However, it is here for me. It's here to bring out the best version of me. So, if that's the case, if that's the case, then certainly I can start looking for those valuable items. I could start looking for those clues. Where are the clues? Where are the clues that give me the answer to that that uh, that puzzle in that moment? I like to surround myself with people who are of that mindset, that harmonious mindset, that desire to work together to bring out the best in one another. That is the most ideal situation to be in, obviously, to, to attain that, that level of that le level of harmony. A lot of times, um, as we're taught all over the place, that there's this competitive nature. I know what's best. I know what's best. 
You don't know what you're talking about. See, I told you so. In your face. You know, all those kinds of things. We're surrounded by it everywhere. So there's, a lot of times there's that dominant idea that we have got to We've got to be the, the person on top all the time, on top of the mountain. And when we favor harmony and agreements over respect, so to speak, over, over, uh, uh, hey, everybody, look at me, I'm the king of the castle. When we favor harmony and, and agreements over that, then holy moly, that's where things really start moving fast. Y'all have heard on my podcasts the times where I've interviewed people, Uber drivers, uh, anyone out on the street, and there's a reluctancy. Sometimes you come up with a reluctancy, and perhaps you're at home going, oh, God, Kurt, quit talking to that guy. Come on, he's just he's, he's a stone. You're trying to pull water out of a stone. And you're going, oh, my God, this is embarrassing. That guy is just not talking to you, Kurt. I just, he's just, you know, quit while you're ahead. Well, that's why I keep moving forward. That's why I keep, um, keep at, at them, pulling out the information. Because I know eventually something's going to crack. Something that, that is their expertise. Something that they are happy about, that they investigate, that they have a lot of knowledge about. I know at some point that information is going to it's going to break through break on through to the other side you know it's going to break on through and I also know that this person probably doesn't have I'll put it this way this person most likely has more naysayers in their life about what not to do, or how this thing is wrong, or that thing is wrong. They probably have more of those in their life than they do of people in their life who are asking them these questions, who are uh, having them confront these, these, these conundrums. So... I like being able to offer that opportunity to folks. Folks, I am. I am uh, forgetting what things exactly I need to pick up. I know there were a few things I needed to pick up while I was here. Um, I knew that there were a few things to pick up here. My main thing was to get this rent paid. So that's why I walked around the store just now, uh, to, to burn off some time. It's 10.02. The bank should be opened. So we'll talk more later. We'll talk more later about harmony about agreements, about win-win, about what that feels like, about where we can find it, about how to activate it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. As that happens, we'll notice you'll notice more synchronicities in your life. You'll notice more dreams coming into reality. You'll notice just a lot more aligned circumstances and and even people for that matter so uh all right that's all for now we will talk more later bye
Now, to approach that, let's consider a cube. We can imagine a cube in the following way. You take a line segment and move it at right angles to itself in equal length. That makes a square. Move that square in equal length at right angles to itself, and you have a cube. Now, this cube, we understand, um, casts a shadow. That shadow, we recognize. It's, you know, ordinarily drawn in uh, third grade classrooms as two squares with their vertices connected. Now, if we look at the shadow of a three-dimensional object in two dimensions, we see that, in this case, not all the lines appear equal. Not all the angles are right angles. The three-dimensional object has not been perfectly represented in its projection in two dimensions, but that's part of the cost of losing a dimension in the projection. Now, let's take this three-dimensional cube and project it, carry it, to a fourth physical dimension. Not that way, not that way, not that way, but at right angles to those three directions. I can't show you what direction that is, but imagine that there is a fourth physical dimension. In that case, we would generate a four-dimensional hypercube also called a tesseract. I cannot show you a tesseract because I and you are trapped in three dimensions. But what I can show you is the shadow in three dimensions of a four-dimensional hypercube or tesseract. This is it. And you can see it's two nested cubes, all the vertices connected by lines. And now the real tesseract in four dimensions would have all the lines of equal length and all the angles right angles. That's not what we see here, but that's the penalty of projection. So, you see, while we cannot imagine the world of four dimensions, we can certainly think about it perfectly well. Now, imagine a universe just like flat, truly two-dimensional, and entirely flat in every direction, but with one exception. Unbeknownst to the inhabitants, their two-dimensional universe is curved into a third physical dimension, maybe into a sphere, but at any rate, into something entirely outside their experience. Locally, their universe still looks flat enough, but if one of them, much smaller and flatter than me, takes a very long walk along what seems to be a straight line, he would uncover a great mystery. Suppose he marked his starting point here and set off to explore his universe. Just came up with this idea for <laughs> something called vacuum. Vacuum, Y-U-M, and you can simultaneously, while you're vacuuming, while you're cleaning, it spits out like a saran wrap with pre-wrapped, processed meat sausage products, products, non-GMO, non-GMO, our processed, pre-wrapped meat sausage products are non-GMO. You know, when you're cleaning, sometimes you get a little bit angry. Because you're kind of hungry. And that's the worst kind, because you become hangry. Well, we've got the solution for you. Clean and eat at the same time. Keep those blood sugar levels up there. And keep your... Make sure that you have the proper amount of carbohydrates each day. Clean and keep up your carbohydrate count. Vacuum. Pre-wrapped sausages. Good for the mind, body, and soul. Do it to it. <laughs>
do it to it with style. Our products not made in sweatshops. Our products are both non-GMO, gluten-free, and not made in sweatshops. That should become the new thing that really distinguishes a company from other companies. Our food is not made in sweatshops. <laughs> I was just thinking, FDA, is that, is, when you say FD, is it FD approved or FDA approved? Food and Drug Administration approved, maybe that's what it is. Our food is GFA approved. Our food products are GFA approved. Or GFPA approved. Our, our food products are GFPA approved. Good food product approved. Uh, good, the good, the good food product administration. That's what it is. The good, the good food product administration. The GFPA. Fully expect, uh, fully inspects and expects our products, our food products, to be 100% top quality. A1 thumbed up. Our food products are, are A1 thumbed up by the GFPA. When searching for good food products, it's always best to turn to what the GFPA has to say about it. The Good Food Product Administration and Association. Oh, it could be the, the, the GFPAAA. The GFPAAA. Oh my God, that's, that's even better. Our food products are... Our, our vacuum... The food products stored within our vacuum, by the way, one free cartridge supplied, one, f one free food products, one free food product car cartridge supplied. Our, our, uh, our vacuums are GFPAAA approved. The great food product Administration and Association. <laughs> or what do we call it? The GFP AAA. The, GF tri the GFP AAA. Uh, this is GFP. You know what? Our food products are GF. Our, f our food products here at Vacuum Industries. Vacu uh, vacuum. Vacuum. Uh, at the Vacuum family. Our, our vacuums. Our vacuums are always GFP AAA approved. That's right. You can never go wrong when feud products are are great. Uh, you, you can never go wrong when you are when you are judged by the Great Food Product Administration and Association. We get we get a top quality double thumbs up for each and every single one of our food products found within our vacuum systems. Yes, you may get you may get the processed meat sausage product cartridge which is always supplied with our vacuum vacuum 3000 our va our vacuum 3500 our vacuum 8000 our vacuum 8500 with our with our vacuum with our prized vacuum product well, uh, with you can never go wrong with our patented vacuum 8500 product Sometimes when we're sometimes when we're cleaning the house we get a little a little bit hungry. Well, as you know, 
being hungry can lead to being hangry. And ain't nobody out there who wants to clean their house while being hangry. Guess what? We here, we here at the vacuum, we here at the vacuum, at the vacuum family, believe you deserve, oh, we here at the vacuum family believe you deserve to both eat and clean your house at the same time. It is your birthright. You deserve it. It, it is your birthright. And you deserve it. That's true. That's very true. That's, in fact, that's very, very tr true. That's very, that's very, very true. Other vacuum cartridges, other vacuum meat products available, pro, other vacuum processed meat products available include chickadee, uh, chickadee, the ch oh, I see, <clears throat> other products available are the processed chickadee, chickadee roost, uh, other processed feud, feud products include our processed chickadee meat product, cartridge, non-GMO, gluten-free, and GFP AAA approved. We also have, oh, what's that sound? No, wrong. If you guessed if you guessed Santa Claus's sleigh bells, you guessed wrong this time. However, if you guessed... However, if you guessed... The... The... The patented... However... If you guessed... Mm. However, if you guess it, mm, the patented processed vegan peanut meat product, then you, my dear listeners, would in fact be correct. Mm, that's darn good. Mmm, that's double darn good. Mmm, uh, light, lightly salted. Mmm, and dry roasted. That's right. Mmm, so it's right there on the package. Lightly salted. Mmm, and dry roasted. Mm. Made with sea salt. And, and most importantly, GFP AAA approved. You can never go wrong when your products when your products are good food product administration and association approved. You can never go wrong. Wait, do I hear a cargo plane? Oh, by gum, by golly. There it is. Right, right on schedule. Our, our cargo plane. There they are, little parachutes. Plummeting, plummeting through the blue sky. Plummeting like little, like little meat pro, like little feud product acrobats plummeting through the sky. Hmm, what new flavors do we have available today for our medium, medium, uh, for our vacuum cleaning product? 
This is sponsored, by the way, by your friendly Meat Clown Industries. This is one of the many products they have available for you, your friends, your family, your neighbors, your associates, your subordinates, your pet crews, your postman, your drive through attendants, your personal misuses, etc., etc., on Seafjord. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some more vacuum products coming your way this spring. Guess what? Everybody loves the Easter rabbit, right? Well, guess what? Coming this Easter season, we will have the processed egg meat product cartridges available for your vacuum. That's right. Cleaning up the house, cleaning up the habitat, for the, cleaning up the abode for the relatives and neighbors. Well, do it, do it in style. Get a hold, get a, get a hold of a vacuum 8500 product and put in some of those processed egg meat food products, cartridges, smock dab right there into it. It'll shoot out a saran, saran wrap whilst you're vacuuming and of cures give you some delicious agorific food products. Perfectly glimmered, painted, dyed, non-toxic, on best of all, friendly for children. Won't get caught in those tiny little windpipes. Uh-uh-uh. Because it's more slime, slime-ish, than actual hard, chewy, crumbly, like our, uh, like our uh, chocolate feud product. Chocolate meat feud product. Uh, that, that was, we do, do admit, that was a little bit crunchy. And it was a little hard to break down with uh, the little, little one's teeth, teethers. <coughs> the little one, the little one's teethers just uh, couldn't seem to ch chomp on through that chocolate uh, that processed chocolate meat product. Oh, here comes another cargo plane. Speaking of the devil, there it is. Thank you, guys. On with your merry ways. Let us see what they have. Here they come, parachuting, tumbling through the sky like an acrobat, tumbling through the sky, landing on our official balcony. That's right, right. Oh, let's open these up. What have we got here? Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Just in time for Thanksgiving. We have a new cartridge for our vac vacuum 85 hundy. It is none other than a turkey meat product, a processed turkey meat product, feud product, available for your, oh, and it comes in a group of, of 25, that's five more than our other cartridges, and we don't charge extra, however, each sample is a little bit smaller to accommodate for such a large number, we do have have more numbers of, of food, processed food products available in this vacuum cartridge than any other vacuum products. 8500 products we've ever had or advertised before in the past. 
for your consumption. And of course, your cooperation. We are just now revealing some, some trade secrets uh, for you, first timers. Uh, something you've probably been reading in the papes. Uh, we've been doing this for 20 years, we admit. Uh, we've been putting in doses of nanotechnology so we could track you, track your every moment of every day. Some might say they're, they're uh, nano, nano spies. I would, I, I would rather define them as uh, micro, micro managers, okay? They've been your personal manager, uh, inspiring you, giving you little hints here and there through your various senses, uh, mostly through your sixth sense and multidimensional uh, fifth density uh, uh, being. What we've successfully done is uh, program your future self to tell you what your current self is is doing right now. Uh, when they do not uh, follow in a direction that is um, uh, within our guidelines and of course our scope of uh, experimentation, he will in fact receive a, a, an electric impulse. Uh, nothing serious, uh, much less, much less than what uh, someone might experience uh, with uh, an, uh, yeah, an, an electrocution, uh, a death, a death penalty, for instance. Uh, my, the, the shock, the shocking is, uh, well, first of all, a much different kind of vibration than that. It's more of a heat, uh, yeah, more of a burning sensation, so you can rest assured it's not a, a t tingly uh, electric sensation. It's more of a burning sensation. Lots more humane in that respect. Now, of course, most of our uh, supervisors and uh, 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 watchers and observers are in fact AI technology, so it's nothing you can really reason with. Um, every time, in fact, you do try to reason with it, it does uh, slap you with a hefty fine for for uh, for uh, it, it trying to interrupt its its uh, its program. Uh, that fine is on your shoulders, not on our our shoulders. Uh, don't shoot the uh, the messenger shoot the messenger, uh, and good luck with that, because our uh, AI uh, micromanage bots are in fact uh, trained to shoot to kill uh, after uh, the ma magic number of three, so, um, uh, or if they're Spanish-speaking uh, robots, uh, uh, on, the, on the rule of tr trace. Uh, that's for our French, uh, my, my faux pas. <laughs> I've gotten ahead of myself. Uh, je ne sais quoi. Uh, 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 dunce, uh, du, uh, le, le dunce. Uh, uh, quel uh, est-il? Uh, my, my French. Uh, 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 Parlez-vous. <laughs> Francais, Francaisers. Uh, um, We hear at the at the vacuum eighty five hundred facility do in fact encourage you to to vacuum your house more so you can eat more. By the way, in an unrelated note, here's a twenty five percent coupon you can use in the official meat clown store enter the word sausage meat processed food product in all capital letters 8500 that's uh, that's the numbers 8500 and then of course gp triple a you type in triple, That's lo those are in lowercase letters, T-R-I-P-L, and the E is going to be a three. 
A. One would think that's an uppercase A. Uh, that is in fact uh, a, 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 an uppercase E, H, H, H. Those are all lowercase. And then exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark. So I hope you wrote that down, down. Uh, because we want to ensure that every meat clown associate, administrator, subsidiarian, subsidiarian, neighbor, cohort, confederate, enthusiast, purveyor, auteur, etc., etc., gets their say in the matter. Mat matter. Chew day and and every day. So, thank you for listening to this extended uh, vacuum dare I say, vacuum 8500 infomercial in, in, in infomercial right here, right now. Take care and Arriva Duce. Sayonara. Signing off. Master, we are now descending onto Earth. What are our next orders? Destroy all humans. You heard the Master. We must proceed and destroy all humans. Start our descension onto Earth. Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Please do not touch my unblat. Hey, it's okay, man. Hey, I'm with the TSA. Hey, hey, hey. Did you say the TSA? That's right, man. Out of this world, buddy. Yeah. Hey, hey TSA all the way. I apologize. I don't know where my head was at. Please, please proceed. All right, man. That's the way. Hey, hey, hey. Out of this world. Get out of here. You. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, McMankington, uh, to Caleb Durbois, man behind the machine and also forgotten tales for your, your, your collections, your collaborations, your integrations, your playfulness, your imagination. I've been going through these through Film Freeway. Film Freeway is uh, the site we chose <clears throat> to accept submissions for for the is this third? Third year? Yeah, third year. Third annual Kapow Intergalactic Film Festival. I've been watching these movies and I've been coming across a lot of extraordinary talent. I'd love to let every single one of them into the into the the festival if I could. We just don't have enough time. And just the pure act of moving forward with creating a movie, whether they have experience or not, uh, just creating, just the act of creating the movie is fantastic. Just the art of creating anything. Just, just the act of that, putting yourself into that and going, okay, I'm making this thing. This is in my imagination. I'm making this thing. That's huge. That's awesome. It's like creating your own world, your own realities. So I applaud anybody who makes their own movies. Anybody who makes, makes their own anything. Paper mache stuff. Finger paints. Uh, draws on shoes. Underlines passages in books. Just that act of creating something, anything, is a pretty big deal. And to continue to exercise that is a greater deal. Because as we continue to exercise that, we continue to show ourselves what we're capable of. And it gets, it gets uh, more and more fun. We get, we get momentum, more and more fun with putting out those ideas. 
with getting those projects out there. I know these people on Film Freeway, they've they've all spent time, money, effort writing it, finding the camera people, finding the right people who want to light the scene, gathering the money together, paying for permits, paying for locations, getting all that getting all that done. And then, and then, and then to, to, to edit all that together and then to put all that together, that's, that's, that's a big deal right there. That's a big deal right there. Any of you who have written a song, it's a big deal right there. None of this should be big deals, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be. It, it doesn't, it shouldn't have to be. But we've been taught that it's a very, very difficult challenge. And then we're we're given the odds. We're given the you know the C three POs of life. They come in, and they say, "Well, you know, it's oversaturated with writers. You know, it's oversaturated with actors, musicians. You know, it's oversaturated. We hear that a lot. And just remember." Most of those folks who are giving the advice are not actually experimenting. They're not actually, they don't have the guts to go out there and create their own projects. They uh, feel much safer sitting on a couch or behind a judging uh, booth with a gavel. They feel much more comfortable pointing out all the inaccuracies from a safe distance. They, uh, That's why you have the Lewis and the Clarks and the Marco Polos. Because the king and the queen who sent them don't have the guts to do it themselves. They've they've decided to make a decision and send these people off in search of what? I don't know. Gold? Um, other people whose asses they need to kick? What? And they want them to report back to them. What if Lewis and Clark and Marco Polo and all those guys... What if they never... told... Because all the information was in their hands. Any information that came through the pipeline... to the Queen and then to whoever they decide to distribute the information to... and at which time they wanted to, to do that... Uh, the information was in Lewis and Clark's hands. They could have chosen to give away certain secrets and to keep certain things to themselves. It's really quite interesting when we think about that aspect. How much of the truth did they tell? Anyway, it takes, takes guts, as they say, to go out there into the world. Only because there's so much resistance happening everywhere. And yes, some, some vindictive. I feel like I've said this so many times before. It's always good to just keep relaying the information out there, isn't it? Keep reminding ourselves that when following our path, we're doing the right thing, following our heart. If we lead from that idea of the golden rule of getting that harmonic balance, we ask for it, and it comes to us, and it's up to us to look for it, no matter how tiny the sign might be. The tiniest sign is just as, in, just as significant as a very obvious sign. In fact, I would say the tiny signs are, are actually more valuable if I were to choose one. Because it takes a, a Sherlock Holmes to see those tiny ones. Little, tiny, seemingly insignificant nuances and details.
I applaud each and every one of these people who have submitted to the Kapow Intergalactic Film Fest. We had such a wonderful time meeting these folks. The Pitts Family Circus, they did their world premiere from Switzerland. We, they had their world premiere with us. That was so cool. Such an honor. What a great group of folks. There's this one that I recently saw that I really got a kick out of called Portrait of a Superhero. A documentary about a guy he goes around named Superhero, wearing his superhero costume, saving people, helping people, going out of his way for people. And he met a really nice woman who married him, who loves him for who he is and allows him to be himself. He allows her to be herself. No one trudges on anyone's terrain. That golden rule. It's cool because you see this footage of when he's younger, when he's out there doing charities, helping out. A lot of great quotes from him. He grew up just being a big fan of Godzilla. And there's a funny part in there where he's talking about a woman that he met, that he was get, getting really interested in this woman. And after about a year of her going over there, she goes, oh, we got to clean this place up. We, you know, all these Godzilla, all these Godzilla action figures, we got to clean this place up. He goes, he's like, get out. She goes, what do you mean? He goes, get out. He said, I've known Godzilla since I was four. I've only known you for a year. Do the math. <laughs> I mean, that's so funny. Oh, man. It's so funny. It's amazing. He goes around. He lives out in Florida. Real life superhero. Might be fun to wonder what kind of fun superhero things we do each day. All right, folks, I think that's all for now. I gotta get back to looking at these. I'll talk to you more later. That's for sure. Keep that in mind.